The Lagos State Commission of Police, Akim Odumosu, and heads of all the security agencies in the state have assured residents of the protection of life and property during the lockdown period. Spokesman of the state police, DSP Bala Elkana, disclosed this in a, in a statement. According to him, the police, the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Navy, and the Department of State Security, the DSS, had embarked on a team patrol across the state to boost confidence of residents. And we're now being joined live by phone with the PPRO Lagos State, Bala Elkana. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Bala. Thank you. Good afternoon. Now, on the update of security in Lagos, what is exactly the police doing toward, um, to ward off the growing attacks against citizens during this lockdown? Well, uh, we have our patrols ongoing. We have also our surveillance teams out there. The Commissioner of Police is also personally leading his own patrol team. We are right on the road now. That is why you can hear the noise. Uh, nobody is in the office uh, anymore. Right from the inception of the lockdown. I can't even remember sleeping for more than two hours uh, in a day from the commencement of this uh, lockdown in Lagos. So we are all out to be sure that uh, Lagosians are safe, to be sure that... Uh, the lives and properties of the citizens are fully protected. That we have done even the, um, in the first two weeks, and we will, we will still do it till the end of this challenge to overcome it together and even beyond. All right. Now, there have been instances where some citizens had got hold of some of these hoodlums, but complained that the police refused to come and take them away. Are you, of this, are you very much aware of this development? You see, the big challenge we have, about a few days to the end of the first two weeks, that is when we have issues, um, a lot of messages sent online on social media, creating panic that some set of criminals uh, that uh, attacked one million boys are coming to invade some communities, to attack communities, to, to rob some communities. That rumor became so thick and the calls we, you know, we are coming seconds by seconds. Then spontaneously also you have some young people coming out with all manner of weapons, you know, under the name of also protecting their neighborhoods. Now, from the first few days, you see them burning tires, creating more panics and more fears. The message is the same everywhere that they are out to protect their communities because they heard that some uh, criminal elements are coming. And I'm not sure up to now, those criminal elements have invaded any community because uh, as far as we are concerned, they don't exist. And there is no criminal gang in Lagos that has the capacity to override the state. There is no, there is no single one. Because uh, Lagos has one of the best security architecture in Nigeria. We have uh, the best personnel, the resources, we, are, we have been doing it over the years. We have been dealing a big blow on criminal gangs, all those gangs and cultists. We have been dealing with them. And uh, there is no gang, no group or so. If I repeat, I, I, I'll say this with all level of boldness, that there is no one that has the capacity to face us or has the capacity to override the state. Interesting, you're trying to repose confidence in the, in the residents of Lagos State about you people being on top of the matter. But I want to ask you this, has there been any, any arrests since this called violence in parts of Lagos? If yes, have they been prosecuted? We have over 200 suspects arrested, hoodlums in specific terms. Okay. We have also violators also arrested in large number. In one of the operations, we have about uh, 202 arrested violators hoodlums over 200 arrested. Before the lockdown, we have over 800 of the hoodlums arrested. The 800 are in prison already. The 200 also we got within this period also, we have charged to court also, because we have court sitting for, for this purpose. Courts were also in, uh, on holidays because of the lockdown, but the, 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 the judiciary graciously approved some courts to sit for the purpose of prosecuting those criminal elements, which, uh, is ongoing. Patrols are still ongoing and uh, arrests are still ongoing. We will not give chance or room to, for any criminal element to give anybody sleepless nights. What we are battling with now is this rumor 
They are coming, they are coming, they are coming, creating panics all over. People are afraid to sleep at their house and at homes in the name that uh, they are coming. We keep on assuring them. Nobody is coming. Then the, the youth also who become emergency vigilantes are also adding to the panic. Sometimes they pass uh, as far as hitting people's door, telling them, be at alert, be at alert, don't sleep. They say they are coming. You know, must they do that? Creating panic also. So that one also, we went around talking to them. We are not against anybody supporting the police in uh, policing the locality because that is in the spirit of community policing. But it must be done in a civilized way. It must be done in such a way that you will not create more panics to people. Don't go about hitting people's door and uh, putting them under fear. Stop shouting on the street, making noise. If you want to do it, do it in a quiet way with the support of the police because we have police teams deployed everywhere. You can't go out and say you have not seen police presence. I think it's not in Lagos. There is no how you turn you will not see police. We have one of the best rapid response uh, uh, squads in, you know, that, that are strategically located at every community you can feel their presence, that there is police. And we have patrols going on. We also have additional deployment because we have pulled out all our tactical units now. We have also pulled out all our staff in the offices because we don't receive this at the headquarters. All of us are out. So everybody is out. We have more, more police present than ever. Then the IGP also graciously deploy additional special uh, forces to us to support Lagos State and even Ogun State. Pepe Aro. So you have yes. more resources now than ever by truly. Good to know, Pepe Aro. Please give a quick advice to citizens on how they can actually stay safe and who to reach out to in case of emergency at this time. Quickly, please. We have made our numbers, emergency numbers available. We went as far as also giving out numbers of DPOs for people to call. Please, just like you have the number of your doctor, you should endeavor to have the police emergency number also that you can easily call. And my advice mostly is before you dial the number, please be sure of your information. Because the, the last few days we have a lot of panic calls. They are coming, they are coming, they are coming, and uh, nobody could, 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 could even substantiate. Somebody will now tell you that, ah, it's my sister that told me that they are coming. Where are you? I'm in Ocean State. or oh, I'm in Ondo State. I'm in a different state. And they are calling the lines because the numbers are online. PPRO, Lagos State, Badai, Okana, thank you for joining us and for the enlightenment you've put on this matter. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.